can we model the interaction with an ATM, an automated teller machine, as a business process? Yes, it's possible. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series of case studies with y'all. The interaction with an ATM is not the typical business process because there's only one human customer working with a machine and not the usual complex orchestration of various roles in the organization. Still, it can be modeled quite elegantly with y'all. It's a sequence of manual and automated tasks. The customer types on the touch screen, the ATM reacts. Let's see how this looks like. Okay, so here we are with the YAWL editor open on top and at the bottom we have various windows on the YAWL system. Uh, the leftmost is the admin and the others are just users in the workflow here. And we have done this workflow at a time when there wasn't this coloring for y'all yet. So um, we have used icons here and um, to, to symbolize where is an interaction of the ATM and where is some, something going on for the user. So um, insert card, check card, enter pin and then select action. And um, if we go on the resource views here, we can see that there is the ATM in, in green and um, we have um, the central database here and we have a codelet working and um, we also have various constraints for retain familiar here. And um, if we go to the sub workflows, um, we have, um, let's, let's look at withdraw cache, that's the one we're going to execute today. Um, we have um, enter amount, get balance, decide on payment, dispense, and so on and so forth. So this really represents what was described in the case study text. And um, yeah, so let's just start um, the sunshine path with a withdrawal. Um, there is already a case open, as you can see here. And um, we go to this um, user here and the first work item is insert card. And so we accept and start this. And um, if we look at this, um, we just fill out any number here. Pin is one, two, three, four, easy to remember. The daily limit is a thousand and the amount already withdrawn today is 500. And um, the next one is check card. So this is done by the ATM. And so it is checked by the ATM if the card is okay. And so we will, we have card stolen or card not readable here as a choice, but we will say it's okay. And then the next work item is enter pin. So we have to enter the pin here and we will enter the correct pin. And uh, we say that there is no timeout because there is also some kind of modeling for timeouts here. And um, the next work item is select action. And we will select withdraw cash. And now we go to the sub workflow and the next work item is enter amount. And so we will withdraw 400, that should be possible, there's no timeout. And now we have to look for the next task. It's called get balance for withdrawal. And um, let's say the current balance is at 5000. And now we dispense the cash. 
So it's 400 that will be dispensed. And now we have to debit the account. And so the balance after the withdrawal is 4,600. And we have to adapt the daily limit on the card. And the daily limit is 1,000, and now the amount withdrawn today is 900. And now we return the card, so we have to go back to the top level net, so we are here now. Account number. And the last step is retract the card. And we can tell the system here if the card has actually been retracted and we can go to the end and if we don't check that we will go back here to insert card again. So this is a circular specification that doesn't have to come to the end. And now we are at insert card again. There is the specification and also a PDF document on this in the supplements. I think that the specification in the editor is useful for explaining what is going on in the ATM. What do you think? There will be more case studies to come, so stay tuned.